Hello, welcome to Curio Tips, the bite-sized hacks for everyday life based on scientific evidence. In this episode, we will see the science of healthy hair. You know, although I just recently had a haircut, so you know, how do you maintain the, the hair? What science say on the healthy hair? You know, the many people believe in so many of the myths and advertising propaganda that the hair grows like the plant grows, you know, with the roots, you need to nourish the roots, then only the plants grow. So of course, you know, you need to put the fertilizers, uh, organic or inorganic, whatever it be, on the, uh, you know, near the root area of the plants, right? So that kind of uh, uh, propaganda is so very common everywhere. So you need to really nourish your hair with uh, shampoos and conditioners, Oh my god. See, you know, so uh, the hair follicle, you know, of course, the hair has a follicle. There is a half truth in it. So, this kind of half baked truth is what uh, is uh, the behind uh, shaping the public opinion for pseudoscience. You know, that is a problem here. Uh, hair follicles are really, really important, but to nourish it, uh, just application something on your head is sufficient or not. You know, there is a rich, uh, you might have seen that this rich people believe in those things and buy a lot of interesting, very expensive, uh, you know, the product, right? A hair care products. How about poor people? If you ever been to a slum, for example, if you're living in a city, just have a look in the slum. Or if you're uh, in a city, then why don't you go to the, the village side to see the really poor people, you know, uh, even homeless people, you see their uh, hair. They are not using any commercial products and of course they might be using some cheap products or might not be especially in the villages and still you see that the hair is really really good you know so it's not that what you apply what you not apply the via negative is more important for the hair growth you know and that is exactly what the science says too shampoos and conditioner it does nothing other than removal of the dirt and excess oil you know, only for that you are going to use it of course if you if your hair is completely dirty then you might need to remove that you know and for that you really don't need this kind of specialized shampoo or conditioner you can just do with an any kind of a normal soap uh, that does this work you know earlier i used to have shampoos and then i quit for uh, you know the, the uh, sh shampoo bar called keshnikar earlier was, uh, one of the video i actually said about this keshnikar keshnikar is also a very nice uh, product it's a shampoo bar it is uh, in india for a long long time you know, around 30 40 years right even before that i don't know brand is really old and now even cage nikara i avoided i'm just using a uh, normal body soap for my hair i, I use uh, you know a glycerin soap and same soap you can use it for your hair also no problem with that you know so because the shampoo does only two things i told you oil removal and dirt removal you know and uh, of course, uh, it also gives you some consistency because it gives some coating with the wax coating. So that has got a, a consistency for the hair, the shiny uh, sheen that is good for the style, but it does nothing for uh, the nutrition point of view. You know, if you really want to have a, a nice thick hair, applying shampoo and conditioner doesn't do the work. Food matters. That is what the science say. Repeated science say that food, what you eat matters more than what you apply. Uh, because hair is nothing but keratin, the protein, right? And if you are deficient in protein, then it will have impact on your hair as well. So have rich source of protein, soya protein, for example, soya chunk is an excellent source of protein. Or dal, you know, uh, it's not that expensive too. It's very inexpensive yellow dal or, you know, whatever uh, you would like to go with, uh, you know, so or milk. All these are protein sources, right? Egg too. Right? So protein is really, really important. And so as exposure to the sunlight, because vitamin D is an important factor contributing in the growth of hair by the hair follicles. So uh, what you eat matters rather than, uh, you know, trusting this advertisement, gimmicks and propaganda that uh, hair grows like a, uh, like a plant and you really need to nourish the root. You know, don't trust this uh, propaganda, friends. Trust in real science, uh, evidence-based science. That is the uh, the focus of this channel. If you like this video, please click like button, the thumbs up, and share it in your relevant groups. I will see you soon with yet another tip. Goodbye.